There's just something so nice about a morning winter sky, isn't there? Just lovely and peaceful. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to another day in my life. It has dawned. Quite nice this morning. It's just after nine. I was awake early again this morning. Five o'clock I was awake. I'll be half dead by mid-afternoon, no doubt. <laughs> I have got dressed, sh showered, got dressed, washed my hair, dried my hair, not put my makeup on yet, that's my next job. Um, I have drafted 10 eBay listings for today, um, just need to photograph those and made a list of what I want to do today. But first, makeup. What a difference a face full of makeup makes. <laughs> Always feel better when I put my makeup on. Always good. I have got this on today on my eyes, which is a new little palette that I bought. I'm planning a video with um, full face of makeup, everything under five pounds. Probably not this side of Christmas, possibly, I don't know. Um, but and I bought that specifically for that and I've just used it for the first time and I'm so impressed with the quality of the eyeshadows. I well, it, yet to see if they last, we shall see what they look like when they get to the end of the day, but they were felt really nice going on, really blendable. Uh, I'll link the little palette in the description box below if I can find it online. I bought it in store, but um, yes, I'll pop a link in if I can find it. So today I have got, I'm trying to burn some wax melts, or melt some wax melts, not burn them. That's the wrong expression, isn't it? Because I've got a lot and I thought it's time to use them up, so I'm using, hang on, let me turn you around, flip you around. Um, this Aldi one, which is the number four freezer and pair, and I've got it in my little wax melter here. Um, this is an idea I saw on TikTok. It's a little silicon um, mini cake thingamajig, and you put your wax melts into there, and they melt down. They take a little bit longer, because obviously they're not touching the... Um, porcelain bit to melt um, but it just saves the cleanup it's such a clever idea it just saves you know having to warm it up and wipe it out and all of that it just you let it um once it's melted you turn this off when you finish using you know oh my god I can't speak when you finished using it you turn it off you leave this in here the wax sets again and you can just unpeel it I'll show you later on um, yeah, it's just a really clever idea, it makes it easier to clean it up, so quite impressed by that. Right, the first thing that we need to do today is um, A, have some breakfast, piece of toast and mama I think. Plans for the day are, um, I am going out to have coffee this morning, I've got to drop off my parcels, um, usual stuff, couple of errands in town to do. Um, and I'm going to have coffee with a lady who I met in hospital. When I was in hospital in September, she was in the bed opposite me, bonded over our sort of shared hospital experience. So we're going to catch up for a coffee this morning, which will be nice. Um, and then this afternoon, home and work and housey stuff. And then this evening, when Ashley gets home from work, we're going to pop over to Marks and Spencer's to have a little look at Christmassy stuff. And we are going to then go to, there's a brand new Audi opened quite near Marks and Spencer's. So we're going to have a quick look-see in there as well. So that's the plan for today. Welcome to my hallway. Oh, it's a bit echoey in here, isn't it? <laughs> this is somewhere I don't often bring you. Um, but we've got some boxes to open and this portion of the video is sponsored by Costway, who I have talked about before on here and who are an amazing um, home website with some fabulous furniture and home decor and um, little appliances. We had a pizza oven from them this year, which we use loads in the summer. Why have I got this weird bit of hair going on there? Um, We've also got an ice making machine that made ice. I don't know if you remember, super quickly, like five minutes, it made ice. It was so good. And I had a couple of plants from them earlier in the year for my patio. And now I have got three parcels just here to open um, with some Christmas bits and pieces. So I'm going to open those up and show you what I've got. Oh, I'm so happy with these. Look at how gorgeous they are. It's a set of three light up Christmas trees. Um, they've got built-in lights 
and they have got little beads and stars on them so they'll twinkle at night. How gorgeous are those? It's a set of three. Um, I'm planning to put those upstairs. Sorry about the light in here. Let me move so the sun's not blinding us all. Um, I'm planning to put those upstairs in front of the big floor to ceiling windows because um, I thought it'd be nice to see them when you drive up the drive. I thought they'd look really nice for that. It's a little bit early for me to be decorating for Christmas as I film this. I'm still November at the moment. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to putting those up. Those are going to be fab. Second thing I got is not actually for me. It's for my friend Karen. Um, Karen mentioned to me a few weeks ago that she was really wanting a big inflatable snowman to put inside her lounge for when her grandchildren come on Christmas morning. She's got three young grandchildren and she wanted to have this big sort of inflatable snowman. And then when Cosway got in touch with me, I saw they had the hugest range of really well-priced inflatables. So I asked her to pick one and she has picked a snowman with three penguins. I'll pop a picture in here. It's a, This is how it's arrived. I'm scared to take it out of the box because I need to drop it off to her. Um, but I'll put a picture um, here of um, what it looks like when it's blown up. It's about two meters tall. So um, yeah, I feel like if I take that out of the box, I'll never get it back in. It comes with a self-inflating pump thing as well to pump it up. So she's gonna be chuffed to bits with that. And then I've got my final package still to open. I'm so happy with my final parcel. So this is it. Now I, ha I put it together, but I haven't spread out all the branches yet because I am gonna be putting it away again. Spoiler alert, I changed my mind on this. Stay tuned, later on in this video, you'll see the tree up and it is beautiful. It's a pre-lit Christmas tree and I wanted a slim Christmas tree and that's for down here. Last year I had a full-size Christmas tree in here and it was fine, but it was just a bit much. And I loved the idea of all the different colour twinkly lights on this one because it's got multicoloured lights and I thought it would be perfect. I'm going to shift the clothes rail further back um, into the window. I'm going to shift the clothes rail further back into this sort of window here and have it just at the front there. So it's um, you can see it when you drive up the drive, the full length of it by the window because I think it's just, it's just so lovely. I love the slim lineness of it. I really wanted a slim line one. I like the fact that it's green and white, I like the colour scheme and I'm going to really enjoy all the different coloured lights on it so I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with that. So if you want anything, Cosway's Christmas decor is such good value for money so um, I'll pop a link into the description box and do go and have a browse, not just their Christmas decor to be honest, they've got really nice furniture, well priced, they deliver super super quickly, they've very often got sales on and um, discounts and I think I've got a discount code which I'll also, but I'll pop all the info down in the description box and also in the pinned comment at the top of the comment section so thank you to Cosway for sponsoring this part of this today's video. And you spot Ron under the bush there. He's hardly been out for days because the weather's been so awful. So he's obviously just in the garden enjoying a little bit of sunshine under that bush there, watching the birds go by, bless him. Well, it is 20 past 12. I've just had such a nice meet up with Sally, my friend from hospital. Honestly, she was like an old friend. It was, <laughs> I feel like, when you meet someone in hospital, and I don't say this through any experience other than my own, but I feel like you're at a really vulnerable place and you bond quite quickly when there is somebody that you click with. And Sally and I sort of told each other our life stories. She's a little bit older than me. And we told each other our life stories while we were in hospital. And I was sort of, we hadn't been in touch loads. We'd sent the odd text since then. And uh, I was looking forward to seeing her again, but I didn't know how it would be, but because I didn't know, her, you know, I don't know her well. We've only had that experience of four days together in the hospital. Um, but it, it honestly, it was just like picking up with an old friend. It was so, so nice. And um, we're going to meet up again after Christmas. She lives um, a couple of towns away, so we're going to meet up over there. So that will be really nice. So um, yeah, I've had a very nice little social get together with her this morning. It was lovely. 
has energised me. I was feeling a little bit low and unmotivated this morning and honestly just getting out and chatting and you know a bit of socialising does uplift you doesn't it? Right what's the time? It's 20 past 12 um, home to do a little bit of work really I need to photograph those eBay listings and I'm going to show you this afternoon had several requests to do this you know I've talked about um, throughout the year making the advent calendars for the staff at my dad's care home um, I'm going to show you those and how I'm getting on I've just bought I've finished the ladies one um, and I've just bought some more bits for the men's one I haven't quite finished off buying for that but um, anyway I'll show you that later when I get home haven't got much in the way of food in the house got food in the freezer but nothing lunchy particularly so i'm doing two fish fingers i'm gonna have a fish finger sandwich for my lunch god that is oh it's adjusted has it there we are that's slightly better you might need to go a little bit higher than that there we are i don't talk loads on here anymore about my family in general, um, I feel like YouTube is my journey rather than theirs. And that I find myself, as time goes on, becoming more and more protective of their privacy. And um, yeah, I certainly don't talk about my dad very much, but everybody, most of you know, I'm sure, but for anyone who doesn't, my dad has advanced dementia and has been in a care home for the last two years. Um, the grief process, and I use the word grief deliberately because it's like the person you knew has gone, that the person, you know, my dad essentially is no longer there, although he is there. He exists, but is not the person that he once was. Dementia is the cruelest disease. I mean, there's hundreds of incredibly cruel diseases aren't there but dementia slowly robs you of yourself and robs us as family of our loved one um so so many of you i know have had your own experiences with dementia and it the grief process is weird it, it, it is a grief journey it's you know, although the person still exists, you're going through a living grief almost with, with no time limit. So, I mean, grief itself doesn't, uh, you know, grief of the death of a loved one it doesn't, you know, it's it's not a linear thing, is it? It's a, it, it's but peaks and troughs and that there's no, you know, there's no like, oh, it's been a year now, you should, you, you'll be over it. You know, it doesn't work like that, does it, grief? And it, it, the moments that it comes upon you, or comes upon me, um, I, I'm always quite surprised because I, I, it's not necessarily something that I think is going to be particularly upsetting. It's certainly not something that, as I say, I talk about on here, but it's just something that's happened today. I went to buy, um, I went to the card shop to buy a card for the endoscopy unit, a thank you card at Torbay Hospital actually, because I had, set after, uh, some varied experiences of the NHS this year, let's be honest. Um, I had a, such a positive experience in the endoscopy unit at the hospital. They, they were, um, every single person I came across was amazing. They were calm, they were kind. Um, it felt like a, a department that was fully under control and not scary and they took, it, it was just a really positive experience. And so I wanted to buy them a thank you card. Um, so, which I did and while I was in there obviously all the Christmas cards are displayed and um, I thought oh I'll get Christmas cards for mum and dad and um, since dad's been in the home at the last two years I like to get them both a card exactly the same um, that says to mum and dad and dad has one in his room at the care home and mum has one at home I send them you know separately and um, they each have their own card but it's the same and oh it's even making me well up to just thinking about it now and uh, I was picking out the cards today and it just I, I don't know there's something about buying cards that just oh, two separate cards it, it just it just came upon me and I I had to have a little weep in the card shop as, not not in the car you know I had a tear in my eye but yeah it was just just sad and yeah, these moments just come upon you. I suddenly feel this incredibly deep well of sadness inside me about the situation. And most of the time it's there, you know, the sadness is there all the time. 
for, for what we're, Dad's living through and what we're living through as his family. But, um, you know, sometimes it just becomes a bit much. And I just, I guess I just wanted to say that if you're going through something, you know, that sometimes just overwhelms you, it's okay, you know, that we can only, we can only carry as much as we can carry, can't we? Yes. You know, and sometimes it is going to be too hard and it is going to overwhelm you and that's okay as well and you just have to push on through it and let let the moment overwhelm you, let it, let, let it sit with you and then move on again, move forward again. And I think as well it's important as a side note to that to think that we all, you know, whatever you see of somebody's life what you see, you never know what someone's going through on the inside. So, you know, let's let's try and be the best people that we can be and maybe give people the benefit of the doubt and um, assume the best rather than the worst sometimes. I think we can all, we can all learn from that, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna go and see how my fish fingers are getting on after that deep little moment. <laughs> so, um, after lunch, we will look at the advent calendars. It's getting dark so early, it's about three o'clock now. I finished my eBay listings and um, had some lunch, watched a bit of I'm a Celebrity from last night and given up on it, one and a half episodes in, I decided that uh, it just wasn't for me and it, there were too many adverts and same old formula and yeah, just not enjoying it. So I've decided to give it a miss for this year. Anybody watching it? Let me know if you're watching it and if you're enjoying it because by the time you see this, it would have been on for about a week and a half, I think, so um, let me know. Anyway, advent calendar. I'm going to show you the ladies one, which I finished. And um, I've just covered up a couple of bits of information in there. That's why the eyeshadow palettes are on it. So that's the front. I've reused my Space NK advent calendar from last year, the um, box. And um, I've made this picture to go on the front with a nice photograph of me mum and dad when we were on holiday that was our last big family holiday we did um with dad so right let me just take those off and open it hang on just let me move you over there while I do that and then you open it up like this and all the boxes are in here and I won't show you all the individual boxes so it's all full of beauty products I won't I'll, I'll put out hang on a second so for example this is number 12 which i've just taken out of here and that has a little body shop rose mask i think that is and an aveda um, leave-in conditioner in that one and then in number two which comes out from there we've got a bella pierre um hd finishing powder just a loose powder there and also a k8 leave-in hair repair mask Okay, so the gents one is more of a work in progress. Um, this one, if you remember last year's one, I think I recorded or filmed that when I did it as well, um, will be in a box, cardboard box that I will wrap in Christmas paper. And each present will be individually wrapped as well with a number on it. Um, this will be the picture that goes on the front of the box. Again, family photograph from when dad was well and remembering happy times and this one obviously for the great guys rather than the lovely ladies like a bit of alliter alliteration um so that's that and then these are the presents i've got so far to go in this this one's as i said more of a work in progress got some christmasy tubes of sweeties i've got a couple of wireless trackers to attach to your keys for, so you don't lose your keys. These were only £4 in Poundland. I thought they were a really good um, little idea for a stocking filler. Um, useful thing to have. Ashley could do with one of these. He's always losing his keys. A um, couple of multi-packs multi of instant hot chocolates. I thought they would be quite useful because they work really long shifts. Of, um, a travel mug. I wish I got more of those. That came from Home Bargains. I thought that was really nice. Um, feels like a good insulated one. A couple of shoe polishing sponges. I've got two diaries and two notebooks. And then I'm going to split this pack of pens. So each of those goes with a pair. Pen goes with each of those. Um, and I need to get some more bits and pieces. Just let me count up and I'll work out how many more I need to get. I've got 15 there. So I need to get another nine. So I think I'm going to get a couple of pairs of Christmas socks. That's always a 
good one. And everybody wears socks, don't they? Or the vast majority of people wear socks. Um, I might see if I can get another travel mug or... T oh, that's the doorbell. Who's at the door? It was some sort of delivery man with a Debenhams parcel, which means I have two Debenhams parcels, both of which I was going to show you, actually. So, yeah, what was I saying before? Oh, about the Gents Advent calendar. I also like to have, um, I'll probably get about five scratch cards and put those in as individual presents as well. So, um, yeah, just a little bit more to buy for that one, and then I'll be done and can wrap it all up. I will do a picture or insert it in a vlog or something when it's done so you can see the final version. Um, Right, let me unwrap these two parcels and show you. You're a little bit low, but you'll have to do down there because you're balanced on three cameras. Right, this is my first one. This is a bit of a pre-Christmas tradition for me. I love a philosophy bubble bath for Christmas, for, for winter really. Um, and at the moment, the whole philosophy range, sorry, I'm just looking at a tree out there that's got loads and loads of birds in it. Um, distracted for a moment. Uh, but at the moment, the whole philosophy range is 20% off at Debenhams. They've got some gorgeous scents. I've not tried this one before. This is Snow Angel. I think last year I had cinnamon apple or something, which was lovely. I'll, oh, it's got a seal on it. Would help if I took that off, wouldn't it? Oh, that's not easy. Hang on. Oh, that's lovely. It's like vanilla and pine maybe and hang on it probably says what it is so i'm going to get my glasses it says snow angels come up to call bringing notes of crisp fuji apple jasmine and musk don't listen to me i said it was vanilla and pine <laughs> to the happiest season of all that does smell absolutely lovely so that's my christmassy wintery bubble bath I, i've Pop a link in the description box. I think it was £12, something like that. So it lasts for ages as well. You don't need loads of the philosophy ones. They're lovely quality and they produce lots and lots of bubbles. Very luxurious. Who doesn't love a bath at this time of year? Actually, lots of people don't like baths, do they? But I love them. Right, I ordered a dress as well. Um, needed a dress. Um, mostly because it was in the sale. This was reduced from something like £129 to 35 or something. And it's from Oasis Curve, that's the brand. Um, couldn't resist the colour, I love this colour blue. Um, I've never tried the um, Oasis Curve range before, I think I'm right in saying. Um, but I thought this looked really nice. It's got a twist front and um, Thought it might be my Christmas day dress, possibly. Um, I don't know. Shall I try it on? Let's try it on and see what it looks like. I think I quite like that. I haven't, excuse the socks. I haven't quite got the zip done up at the back because I'm frightened that if I do it up, I won't be able to undo it. Um, but I think it's a little bit tight around the middle, which is a bit beyond my comfort zone. But I quite like it. I think it's quite flattering. It's a little bit different from what I wear normally. I feel like I'd need to lose a little bit more chub off here. But that's doable by Christmas, right? Maybe, I think. Yeah, I think I quite like this one. I'll pop a link in for this one as well in case anyone's interested. I'm not sure I'd want to pay £130 for it, but at 35 I think that's not bad at all. I particularly like the sleeves. It's not quite dark yet, but you get the idea. I've decided to put these up. I mean, they're sort of winter decoration rather than specifically Christmas, aren't they? So they'll be all right. I think they look really pretty, really pleased with them. It gets dark so early, doesn't it? There's hardly any day left at the end of the day, if that makes sense. It's 20, is it only 25 to four? Good Lord, surely not. It feels like it's properly dark. It is, you know, absolute madness. Um, yeah, only 25 to 4 and I feel like I need to put the lights on. Anyway, what I am going to do now is sit down, drink this water, because anybody else struggle with drinking water? When I'm good in the summer and the spring. Winter I struggle a bit, so I'm really trying hard to get my water intake in every day. 
Um, so I'm going to drink this and watch Sunday's episode of Survivor on BBC One, which I'm quite enjoying. Um, I remember the original series, which was about 20 years ago, and I loved it. Not enjoying it quite as much as then. I think it was more unusual then. It was different, very different, and um, reality TV was more in its infancy back in the very early 2000s, wasn't it? But nevertheless, I'm enjoying it. I just spent such a happy hour looking at my little trees and watching the telly that it made me want to come and put the other tree up. So I've just roughly done it. Um, I just need straightening up a little bit. I, it's the perfect width. I'm so happy with the width of it for that space. Now shall we have the ceremonial turning on of the lights? Let's pop you there. I think you can see it all there. I'm going to whiz over and ta da! Let me put the other lights off. Oh, how pretty does that look? Oh, I'm so happy with it. I absolutely love it. Let's have a little look from outside. I'll just put the outside lights on. And so when you come up the drive, this will be what you see. Oh, and there's the upstairs ones as well. Oh, I am super happy with that. Honestly, it couldn't have been better. I feel like, as well, with the multicoloured lights, I don't need to decorate the tree, which is what I wanted. I wanted a slim tree, sort of fairly minimalist, that um, I didn't necessarily need to decorate. I think just with the lights, it's going to be perfect. So happy. Well, it's several hours later. We have been to Marks and Spencers. We managed to miss going to the new Aldi because we took the wrong um, exit of, or lane at the, <laughs> and ended up missing it completely. But never mind, we'll go there another time. I'm not sure if I'm in focus or not. Let me grab my glasses so I can see. Yeah, I am actually. Backlit a little bit. Um, I've got to show you, I won't show you all my shopping because really I've, I've also got changed into my loungewear now. Also, um, finish a sentence Caroline then move on to the next thing. Eye makeup lasted really quite well, quite impressed with it. It's now 20 past seven so it's been on 10 hours or something so pleased with that. Um, I think I said already I'll link that below if anybody's interested in it. Um, this little tin is a light up it's a snowy christmas biscuit tin i believe it is a lighting up one musical rotating light projector um that's for william i always get him a tin of m s biscuits for christmas and last year he had the um rotating musical one so then he liked it so i got it for him again isn't that gorgeous really pretty and um a nice bottle of pink Prosecco for Becky, who is my cleaning lady, who's become a friend now, really. She's been here for, oh, how many years? Since COVID, the year after COVID year, I think, or maybe the end of COVID year, 2020. So anyway, she feels like a friend now. Um, right, I think I'm going to finish this one off here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed spending the day with me. Thank you very much for watching. Um, Everything will be linked below that I've talked about and um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.